carefully label this stuff up. So we're going to call that one number one, that one number two, and that one number three. Okay, and I'm going to deliberately get rid of Z because it just seems to be more obvious to me to do that. So I'm just going to get rid of Z. So the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to do number one times by two. Okay, and that's going to give me 2x plus 2y plus 4z equals 12. And I'm now going to call that equation number four. Okay, now contrasting that with equation number three, 3x plus 2y plus 4z equals 9. That's just equation number two, sorry. I want you to look at the way I'm labelling it as well, and the way I'm writing it down. It's not essential, but it's a good idea. Okay? So at this point now, what I'm going to say is, I'm going to do equation number four, take away equation number two. And that's why I label it, to be honest, Anna. So that actually it becomes obvious what I've been doing. So four take away two gives me negative x. Zero, zero, equals three. Okay, which means that I now know that x is 3. Now, I was a bit lucky there in the fact that the x's and the, z, the y's and the z's both eliminated. So that was quite handy. Okay, but it's not always going to work out that way. But this, the fundamental idea is that we worked on getting rid of one letter. I was getting rid of a z. And as it happened, I was able to get rid of a y at the same time. Lucky me. Okay, so I now know that x is 3. It is negative 3. You're quite correct. Sorry. Yeah, watch that. Easy mistake to make. Okay? So now we can have a look at... Well, for instance, we can immediately rewrite all of these equations to say now we know that y plus 2z equals 9. Okay, we can say that 2y plus 4z equals 18 and 3y minus 6z I think equals 0 no, negative 3 I think that works because the minus 3 there becomes plus 3 there the minus 9 there becomes the plus 9 there and the positive 6 here becomes the negative 6 there so I've just rewritten this. So I've now got much easier equations to work with. And now let's just do um, number one. Oh, sorry, big one. So does that make sense so far? You see what's going on? So the elimination method is about trying to get the letters the same. And then you can just minus them away from each other. And they just eliminate. That's the whole point. Okay, so now we've got equation number one. Let's times that one by... Well, I've got y's and z's. There's no point doing that. So let's times it by 3. Now that's going to give me the same problem. Oh, no, it won't. That'll be right. So let's go times by 3. Okay. So that's going to give me 3y plus 6z equals um, 27. And we're now going to call that one number 5. Okay. And I'm going to write down the fact that we've got number 3 in here. 3y minus 6z equals negative 3. That's equation number 3. Okay, so I'm going to do 5 take away 3, which is going to give me something along the lines of nothing here. 6z minus minus 6z is 12z, be careful. And 27 minus minus 3 is 30. So therefore, Z is, what's that, two and a half? I think. Yeah. So, so now I know that X is three and I know that Z is 2.5. I can substitute back into one and say that I've got um, Y plus five equals nine. So Y must be four. So my answer is x is negative 3, y is 4, and z is 2.5. And there's nothing wrong with you now checking 
by putting those numbers back into one of the earlier ones just to make sure things work. So if I put those values into say this one, that's going to be positive 6 plus 12, so that's 18, take away 15 is 3. It does, it works. Okay? And that's basically the elimination method.